What's popping, guys? So that's okay to say, are you guys gonna drag me in the comments? Guess we'll find out. I'm your host, Jared Bronstein, and I actually, I want some suggestions in the comments down below on how to start the videos. Let me know what you guys want me to say before I introduce myself. I said, what's Gucci once, and that was, it, it wasn't good. Anyways, welcome back to Inform Overload. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell notification so you could always be informed of anything that will most likely make you laugh. Or fear for your life. Or both. I'll be responding to some comments at the end of this one from a previous video, and you guys gotta make sure to share the video and tag either myself or IO on Instagram and Twitter for a shout out. Tag us both. Spread the love. But the real reason you guys are here, the asteroids. According to the European Space Agency, ESA, there's currently just under 900 asteroids, more specifically 878 asteroids, at risk of hitting Earth in the next 100 years. Now before we go any further, is it called the ESA or ESA? I guess it'd be ESA, because it's like NASA, right? I don't know, it just doesn't sound as good. Either way, ESA claims that even a small asteroid could lead to serious devastation, and they're not taking any risks here. So ESA, along with other groups, including NASA, are going to be getting together to talk about potential technologies, and how they can not only determine the likelihood of an asteroid hitting Earth, but how they could respond in a timely manner. NASA's policy explains a potentially hazardous asteroid is considered any fast-moving object that comes within 4.65 million miles of Earth. So even though the odds of something that far away is extremely unlikely to hit our planet, it's still of concern. These things move fast and it's hard to keep an eye on all of them, which is why these organizations are joining forces. ESA explained, I quote, this ESA catalog brings together all asteroids we know of that have a non-zero chance of impacting Earth in the next 100 years, meaning that an impact, however unlikely, cannot be ruled out. So what they're pretty much saying is, even if there's the slightest chance of an asteroid making impact with the Earth, even if it's like a 0.0001% chance, it's still considered a threat, as it should be. Because if something has a 1 in 10 million chance of hitting us, regardless of how unlikely, there still is a chance. And considering how there's an unfathomable amount of asteroids floating around space, well, I'm glad they're being diligent. Over the next few weeks, there's going to be three meetings taking place, including one where NASA will discuss their plan to use their DART spacecraft, which is expected to launch in July of 2021. DART stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test, so they're pretty much building a spacecraft to crash into an asteroid. Pretty cool if you ask me. There will also be meetings taking place to discuss past asteroids which have missed the Earth, and a workshop hosted by ESA which will include protection agencies from the United States, Germany, Switzerland, and the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs. ESA went on to explain, I quote, these three meetings illustrate the breadth of activity currently taking place across the globe to mitigate the risk of an asteroid impact, to ensure early warnings of such a threat, and to prepare on Earth in the unlikely event of a strike. Planetary defense is heating up. I mean, as they say, better safe than sorry, right? But quite honestly, I don't know if I'd want to know if an asteroid was coming to destroy the Earth. I feel like if I knew my days were numbered, I'd just constantly like be worrying about it until it happens. I'd rather just live my life normally and then all of a sudden, bang, we just die. I know it wouldn't happen like that. Obviously, if an asteroid was coming, we'd see it, you know, months, maybe even years before, but wishful thinking. Not really. Talking about asteroids killing all of us, so like, not really wishful. Either way, I wonder how you guys are feeling about these asteroids, and if you think these agencies need to be doing more to make sure we are protected. I think they've proven whatever they're doing has been working, so why mess with a good thing, right? Let me know in the comments down below. For now, let's respond to some comments from the video about Mother Teresa being a secret agent. Frisco1522 said, Mother Teresa, licensed to kill. That'd be a great movie. Like, taking Mission Impossible to the next level. Marissa Bowen said, imagine if she lived long enough to become an Instagram influencer. I never thought about it, but I feel like the Pope has an Instagram, doesn't he? I mean, just like imagine if these like religious figures were actually like all Instagram influencers, like if Moses and Jesus Christ and Mother Teresa, imagine if they just all had Instagram verified, <laughs> the official. <laughs> I think it'd be pretty lit. Cameron Morrison said, hold up, did he just threaten my PS4? Triggered. Why? You have a PS4, just switch to an Xbox One. Gonna get a lot of hate for that comment, but I play Xbox, deal with it. If you guys wanna play with me, my tag's Bronston7, but I don't play that much anymore. But still, add me if you guys want to play it. I love to connect with you guys. Anyways, guys, that does it for this one. You gotta be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with a friend, and also share it on Instagram or Twitter. Tag myself or the IO team for a shout out. And if you guys enjoy our videos, make sure you're subscribed, ring that bell so you guys never miss a video. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein, and we'll see you in the next one.